It's taken them two tackles to get there. Towards a dummy. They bring it out. Is this uh, Colvite? Jerry. Gerald. They keep bringing it. Is the other, the big tour. Oh. Everything's been kept uh, in the forward so far, Brian. The uh, Sea Eagles haven't had a chance to stretch out on the backs just yet. Oh, they put the ball down the concrete end. And Sisa, the fullback, one of the imports, he comes through. He gets smashed by the Greek god. Good chase. <laughs> no, he's not the Greek god. It's uh, 11. It's uh, Jerry Liza. Number three over there, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a new player over there. That's Inoka. Ruben Inoka. Once a kneel, many years ago, he's come back home and he's playing for the village. So he's only a one-week wonder, Brian. I'm not going to say that. Ooh, forward, Slightly forward the, there, referee. Yeah. This guy can't see either. Hey, Tucker, you want me to give you Mr. Magoo glasses to you? <laughs> Wake me up. <laughs> I'm going to wind him up. And that's a better one. He took it on the four. He yeah, he's got two. rid of him too. Oh. On three, four, he five. He's on the 20. He gets rolled. He makes 21 metres. Gerald Piho, son of Uppy. Eddie Nicholas, the donut man. They want the formula to his new donuts down the shop. <laughs> Give me the formula. <laughs> Get him once it. Hey, Who's the new white boy in the Avachu team? He stands out. Well, him and uh, the Greek god, isn't it? Yep. The lonely soldiers. They bring it down. They're running it. This is the tour. He puts it on the beach side. Caesar gets the ugly bounce. It's going to go into the touch goal line. He has to run it out. Hop, step, and jump. He's held and he's tackled. Comes the other Fiji, and this is ice. Well, Dwayne. They're running it up. Oh, and then he gets folded. And the referee's gone along and he says... I don't like that one. And this is number 11. This is... Uh, Jerry. Now, Jerry looks different because he's got a haircut. Okay. They go along. Hanson, he puts it on top of the clubhouse. He puts it in with the officials. Who are those guys wearing? Oh, no, the ball boys. Wearing the fluoro vests. Where's the naughty seat? Is it on that side? Oh, here we go. They're running it up. This is my neighbour, I think. Stanley, are you? I think it's... Stanley Tobias. Yeah, I think he's my neighbour. This is the old... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Kukasavi. I keep running. Charlie. Tom Weeks, four tackles in a row there, Brian. Four tackles in a row. Not only is he a Greek god, he's a machine, a tackling machine. They go away from him because they don't want, they're scared of him. That's what it is. I'm going to tell all these arbitrary eels they're scared of the Greek god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fifth tackle, last. fifth and last. Going to go up. There we go. Bobby yeah. puts it up. Oh, it's an ugly. It's ugly. Oh. Too far. Well, they get to start on the 20. And, hey, where's the clock? Have we got the clock? We have a, we, we're not doing the clock, mate. Have... Oh, What's that? Seven. Uh, seven minutes gone, is it? Seven minutes gone and a half. We've got nine minutes and seven minutes. Well, we need to adjust our clock. They're on the halfway, ladies and gentlemen. The Sea Eagles. Six nil. Nil. They're on their home patch. They're desperate for a win. They got three points in the in the competition. They don't have enough points. There goes there goes Jerry Mungere. And here is the best singer in their team. Jerry? Jerry. Unbelievable. He's a Samoan specialist, don't worry about that. Tour puts a ball up, goes higher than high. High if his ice cream will melt and he gets zapped. And this is Inoka. Ruben. They bring it out the outside here, shows him the sideline. He goes round and uh, Nicholas. 
tackles around the neck. It's the four footer against the seven footer. Goldsworthy. Dwayne. He makes two metres. Looks like uh, Kitty Williams is ready. He's standing up off the bench. Hanson. This is Stanley. Since I've been living where I have, I've seen this boy grow up, mate. He was half the size. Is that right? Half. He's a man monster, and he's certainly growing up. He must obviously eat his wheat mix every day. Stanley Tobias. There he is. Goals with him. This is Tare. T-A-R-E. He takes the ball and piho! My whole silver! That was a great take of the ball, Brian. Very confident looking one. Matthew. He gives the old uh, white fella the old... Uh, <laughs> He's, a, he's got number 20, so I don't know. My list, my team sheet doesn't go down to number 20. So he'll remain anonymous for the moment. No, I think it is that guy. What's his name? The Fair Brother. The Fair Brother. The clash of the, of the Fair Brothers. Oh. Wicks against the... Uh, who's, who's that guy? Troy. Troy. Maybe. Troy. Troy Penn. Troy Penn. We're in 20. New blood. And here's a mistake by the import. Dockies pay their pops. Dockies pay. You drop the ball, you lose 20. <laughs> Look, ladies and gentlemen, um, nine to million minutes gone on our clock. And uh, we look at the scoreboard on the HORI sign scoreboard. Clem, the, the Sea Eagles. Yeah, Brian. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought, Brian? But then the Panthers were leading last week as well at uh, halftime. Well, this is uh, unknown territory. Being behind for the Eels, then, or no, being ahead. Well, being ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the Eagles being ahead. But we're on the home ground. The conditions are not very nice. Uh, overcast, but slippery. It's a good good day for playing football. It's not too hot. They don't have to worry about it too much. So If you're a player, not for a, a yeah. spectator, isn't it? <laughs> and here comes Tade. Oh, Weeks in there again. Peter Tade. Look, he's saying, what are you doing later on, mate? You're going to have a beer later or what? <laughs> Mark Charlie. Look at this. Look at that. Man mountain, that boy. Isn't he? Oh, and then he gets folded. He's on the 20. I think that would have hurt. Bilzy. Oh, Bilzy and the postman. A clash. They go Muckle's side. That's Muckle's van on the side there, you see, ladies and gentlemen. You see that? That blue ute. And the referee's gone along, and he's going to penalise the seagull. And he's gone along and he says, don't do that again. That's so I'll show you where Naughty Boy's sitting. The Nick is in a twist corner. Hanson, he puts it in Muckle's corner. The umbrellas are out. Where is Captain Muckle? There he is. He's under his umbrella. He's got the green umbrella. That's him there. Green umbrella and the uh, maroon striped uh, shirt. And he doesn't have a green bottle in the other hand, Brian. Yes, mate, it's behind his leg. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a chilly bin full. <laughs> they go along there, ladies and gentlemen. There is 11 Timberland minutes gone in this game. And a lot of talking, no action. A waiting, waiting. What are we waiting for? Someone's uh, got a prickle on their foot. And he comes onto the field. From the sideline. We're back to 13. So far, pretty impressed with how this referee's handled the game, Brian. It's keeping it flowing. Well, a lot has been expected. End of the day, the poor referee's going to come... Anybody's going to come under scrutiny this week. He's three off. Three more steps and you're under the H's. Goes where he looks. Tuddy. Tuddy gives it to the White Brother. The White Brother dodges. Twists. Oh, he gets held up and there's three of them. Whoa, what's this guy's name? Somebody pin. Well, I think so. I'll have to go find out later on. But the white brother will do for now. Oh, look. Oh, lost the loose pass. Oh, come on, referee. Let's have a look. What's your signal? He's gone along and he says... Um... Um... Ooh. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Bleep, bleep, bleep. They're all going along, and you know what? They touched oh, the referee. Oh, he he just bleeping. touched the referee. You don't touch a referee. He's going along. He's going to ask his opinion. Is he going to keep keep the uh, same decision, or is he going to change his mind? 